This won't last. What's up, my peoples? And go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the TFC Toys Raging Bull. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Very G1 y style packaging here. They have a nice image of Raging Bull. His name is Raging Bull. He's part of the Trinity Force! On this side of the box, we have Raging Bull. On this side of the box, we have Raging Bull. On the top, Legamodo! Car model, robot model. On the bottom of the box, you just have warning. Please don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. On the back of the box, we have more obligatory product shots and collect all three members to combine the wisdom Trinity Force. And you also have tech specs here, and that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card with that same piece of artwork and the tech specs on the back. If that interests you, hooray for cards. So moving right along, here we have Raging Bull, which is the first component of TFC Toys Trinity Force! Their take on Road Caesar from Transformers Victory. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty cool figure. And this is their take on Laster. And uh, he's, he's a pretty cool figure. Um, he's a little bit annoying. A little bit annoying, uh, but all in all, he's he's a decent figure. So here he is in his vehicle mode. Very nicely done. A nice glossy yellow. Nice trans clear windshields and windows going all the way around. You got the nice flame detail right there. I know that's open. I'm going to get to that in a second. I, I did that on purpose. Uh, but you have the nice flame design there on the hood as well as on the side doors there. And just a nice yellow and black paint scheme throughout. On the back, you do have these trans clearance taillights, which you do have to plug in yourself. These pieces just come packed separately in a little baggie. You have to just pop them in. Uh, the side view mirrors are also separate pieces you have to pop on as well. So there's a little bit of assembly required when you get this toy, but it's all right. Uh, nice silver paint for the rims here. Uh, the tires are rubber, which is quite nice. These are on a hinge for transformation. And there's the bottom. Uh, he rolls, as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. So, there you go. Now, the reason I left uh, this open right here is because you do have options for what you want to do here. Uh, you do get just these flat panels right here to cover these up if you want to, but if you don't, you also get these little uh, headlights, and these little transparent pieces are also separate pieces you have to plug in yourself. Again, a little assembly required when you get this toy. I don't know why they couldn't do this in the factory, but, yeah, you know, it is what it is. But if you want to, you can take these and tab those on and he can have his headlights up if you want to. So you have options there. Hey, options are always good. Me personally, I'm just going to, uh, these are hard to get off to. Me personally, I'm just gonna put these little panels on here. Just leave everything nice and smooth like, but as always, your toy displayed however you wish. So let's run through all of the accessories. Uh, you do get a big old sword, which is gonna become the uh, sword for combined mode. Done in blue with some nice silver. You get some black in there as well. So you get the sword, you get two guns, done in red and blue, with some black. So you get two of those guns, which uh, cannot store in vehicle mode. Um, the pictures do, store, do show this being stored, but it's with the combined mode foot, and he does not come with the combined mode foot. So as is, you can't store the guns or the sword anywhere. They just have to be left off to the side. Uh, you get this little bit right here for combined mode, and we'll get to that when we get the transformation. You get one more accessory, but that's for robot mode, so we'll show that off when we get there. So, there you go, and for comparison, here he is with Masterpiece Sideswipe. So you can see that this guy is pretty much Masterpiece scaled here. He's actually a little bit... Let me raise up a little bit more here. He actually is a little bit bigger than Sideswipe. So... There you have that, just to get a sense of his size. Now with Laster, you do also get his, uh, what, what do they call these? The, the Brain Masters, I believe. He does include his little Brain Master here, just done in black and yellow. And he does have a little bit, you know, there is a face molded there, but it's not picked out in any kind of paint. He's very small, he has a mouth plate on his back. <laughs> it's pretty much all there is to him. Uh, his arms can rotate that far, the legs can go back. I can go forward, you can do the full splits. Hooray, go team, you can do that. <laughs> you can be a cheerleader. 
<laughs> there you go. And this this thing is it's tiny. It's it, it it's little. It's little. I mean, for comparison, here it is with a uh, Titan Master. You can see very very small, and these guys are small. And here he is with the masterpiece Star Sabers. Little brain master dude guy thing here. So you can see even smaller than that. So yeah, he is a little guy. Um, you can actually have him in the car if you want to. Uh, you just have to kind of take this whole front section here, kind of pop this forward so you can get under here and pop the windshield up. And there are these tabs on either side here. And what you do is you just put that tab between his legs there and that holds him in place. And then you can just pop all this back down and bring all this back up. It's going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt to get lined up. And it is. There we go. It's a bit of a pain in the butt to get things lined up with this guy. Doable, but you have to fight it a little bit. There you go. And you can see I'm just kind of smushed up in there. <laughs> His face is pretty much like right up against the windshield. But hey, you can at least have him in the car if you want. So, yeah. And that is basically it for vehicle mode. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? Let's. So let's go into combine mode first. So to do that, just take this front section here, bring that down, bring this whole windshield and roof assembly up. Let's get little dude, put him off to the side, and let's get going. So what you want to do is you want to come back here and you want to raise the two halves of the spoiler up. You want to take these panels here and untab them and just bring them down to get them out of the way like that. Then you want to bring this panel in and bring that out. That allows you to bring that out fully. If you leave this collapsed, it won't fold out that far. So bring that out, open all that up like that. Let me just raise up a little bit more just so I have some room to operate here. All right, so now you want to take these panels here and just swing these all the way around and these will just tab on right up there so just tab that on tab that on like that and here comes the annoying part of this transformation uh it's messing with all of this in here so what you want to do is you want to take these panels here you want to untab them like that and they're going to swing around you want to kind of bring this in and swing this around on that hinge like that once you do that, you want to swing this armature around, swing it in, so the opening on that, on that socket is facing down. Once you do that, you can then kind of straighten all this out like this, and then just bring that down, and that will just sit in here like that. And that's pretty much how you want that oriented. It's a little bit annoying, but once you know what you're doing, you know what you're doing. The instructions are not very helpful. The instructions are actually quite, uh, are quite confusing when it comes to this particular section, even when you're going into robot mode, but kind of just bring this out and swing it. Oops, wrong way. Go this way. And then rotate that around and then just swing all of this around like that try to keep that where it needs to be bring that down and there you go and that's how you want that oriented up in there so once you do that you take the upper body here and you just rotate it 90 degrees you bring up this little panel right in here that's just going to go in there and lock the uh the waist rotation in place so it doesn't move on you once you do that you take this whole Front hood assembly, bring that down, and you have tabs that will go into slots in the chest. So then you just line that up, and you just push that on, which again can be a little bit of a pain in the bootox. Come on, there you go, there you go. Get all that squozing back together, there you go. Uh, you take the, uh, the helmet here, and you just kind of angle it up, and this whole panel We'll just swing down like that. This little bit in here, you want to fold down into the body like that, which is annoying because getting this back up, and you need to get this back up, is very annoying. But uh, we'll get to that when we get to that. But there you go. There you have the combiner port right there. And 
Once you do that, take these panels, bring them up, bring them up, and you just bring them together and they will meet in the center. Now this thing works a bit weird because you have two tabs, you just have two tabs and two slots here, but here you have, on the top and on the bottom, you have these like hook tabs right here. And uh, it's, it's uh, it should have all just been straight tabs, but you just kind of get those two center ones together as best you can. And then get that hook tab over that, push that together, and come under here, and then get that in. Give it all a squeeze, and there you go. And just get all that centered like that. Once you do that, you take these little bits right here, and you just fold those down, and you bring up this whole roof section that will just tab in right up in there on either side, like that. And then you can take these side windows, and they will fold in like that. And there we go. Now we bring in this bit right here. And you just come down here, and you split this open, like that, and just goes in the right way, there we go, like that. And you just feed that in there, close everything up. And at this point now, you can take those spoilers and just bring them back in, like that. And then you just bring this up, and they'll just clip in right in there, like so. And there you go. There you have his leg mode, or shin mode, rather. Um, again, he does not include the, combine, the combiner mode foot, so there's nothing there to plug onto him, but that is his combined mode right there. He just kind of compresses into a little box. So, there you go. Some nice silver paint on it, some red and blue. But yeah, there you go. There is combined mode. So let's get down to robot mode. So let's just undo everything we just did. Take this, pop this back up. Undo uh, this and this and undo this and then remove this. We don't need this no more. Get out of this and undo these hooks. Undo these. Undo that and just split all that. Open that up. At this point, we can take these panels and just bring them down. We'll tab in right there. Uh, bring that out. Untab this, take these little bits here, fold these back up, like that. I'll bring this little locking piece back down. I can bring this back up, rotate his upper torso back to where it was. And get this up and out of the way, and now we can take these and just kind of swing these up and out of the way, like that. And now we can start working on the legs. So just split all this right here. And you want to just take the leg and extend it down on a nice stretch. You can take this spoiler piece and just bring that back in. And now we get into some more annoying things with the legs here. <laughs> the legs are the most annoying part of this transformation. It's, it's doable. Again, the instructions are all that helpful, but I will try to walk you through it as best I can. So what you want to do here is you want to take this wheel and you want to rotate it inward. That in turn will push his foot out. That will help you get his foot out. And then once you do that, you can kind of grab his foot if you can. You might still need some help. I think I still need some help. There we go. Get the foot, just kind of swing that up. And then you're gonna rotate it at this hinge here. Just swing that around like that. And then this is gonna swing down on this hinge like that. And that's gonna sit right about there. And at that point, you can take the foot and rotate it to the forefront. You want to get in here and flip out his toe, which can be quite hard to get out. So there is a little, see that little piece that sticks out. If you can get your fingernail on that, you can pull the toes out. If you can't, uh, the sword actually does a great job of getting the toe out, if you need some help with that. But there you have that part done. So now this part is another annoying piece that the instructions don't really help you out too much with, but you want to take the wheel and just kind of swing this in about like that, because you're going to need that space in there. So what you're going to do here is you're going to rotate this up at that hinge right there. You're going to rotate this bit so that the opening of that socket is facing, well, what's going to be the inside of his leg, right there, like that. Just to make sure all that is oriented the way it needs to be. So there you go. You want to orient it like that, and then you're going to take this bit here, 
fold it up on this hinge and then rotate it. You want to rotate the whole thing and you basically want it oriented like that. See that? That's the way you want it. And then you take the heel piece here, you just swing that down, bring that around, swing it to the back, now you got the heel, so then you just take all this, you push it in, you see that goes behind that wheel. Push that in, and then these will just tab up in here like that, and then you have a little tab that goes into that notch right in there, so you just push that in. Don't know how we can see it, but there. You have everything lined up. There you go. It just tabs in right there like that. A little annoying, but anyway, once you do that, you can just close up the leg, close that up, and there you have a leg all done. Second verse, just like the first. Trinity Force! And huzzah, huzzah, he has two legs. So there you go. Got the legs all done. The legs are a bit annoying, but anyway. Let's move on to the upper body. So you just want to undo this front bumper section here. Again, it's a case of they are hooked together. You have to kind of lift this up. I mean, it holds on securely. I will say that. There we go. Just undo that. And then you want to untab this whole side section here like that. And what's going to happen here is this is going to come down. It's going to swing around like that. Uh, this front bumper section folds in. And then you just take all this and this just collapses up. You rotate it around, collapse it up onto the back like that. And the wheel, if it hasn't done it for you, you just take it and fold that in like so. Now the instructions have these, you can see there are tabs here, but you know, the instructions say, oh, they tab in somewhere. There's nowhere for them to tab into. There's no, there's no slot. They just kind of sit there. There's nowhere, like, there's nowhere for that to tab to go. I don't get it, but oh well. But that's what you do with that. And same thing on the other side, you just undo that. Just flip that bumper piece in, bring that around, and just make sure all this collapses in, bring it in. There you go. Now you just take this whole roof section here. You just want to bring it down on this hinge like that. And just bring all that up against these pieces like so. And there you have the backpack. So now with the arms, you're just going to swing them out on that hinge right there. And you just extend the arms on a double hinge. At that point, you can bring it down. You open this up right here. Flip out the hand, close that up, rotate the hand so everything is oriented properly. And you got an arm all done. The second vest, much like the first, just swing that around. Extend it on that double hinge. Bring the hand up, close that up, twist, bring that down. You can take this panel here and bring that back down. And there we pretty much have him in robot mode, but as you can see, he doesn't have a face, so he needs he needs a face. We have to give him his face. So at this point now, we bring in his Brain Master, and this is where the other annoying thing comes into play. Because if you remember, that little thing I had to push down for combined mode, you have to get that back up, and that's not easy to do because you can't open this chest panel with that folded down. So you just kind of have to open this up as much as you can, and take the sword, and just kind of use the sword to push that back up where it needs to be. Like that. The sword is a very handy tool with this toy. <laughs> Fortunately and unfortunately, but there you go. So once you have that push back where it was, now you can open this up fully. And you can see that bit right there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, uh, your Brain Master here, just make sure all of his limbs are nice and straight, and his legs are gonna go into those grooves in here. And this gimmick, it, I appreciate them trying to work this gimmick into the toy. It kind of works, but not really. I have more of a failure rate than a success rate doing this, but we'll try so you get him in there. And then, it, it, for me anyway, it works best if I just raise the helmet up. So you just kind of close the panel, which in turn will bring him up, and then straighten him out. And then you just kind of pop the helmet on him. That's actually the easiest time I've had doing that. Thank you. Thank you for working for me and working with me. 
for a change. I appreciate you. I appreciate you so much. I tap you on the face when I'm happy with you. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. There you have Raging Bull, a.k.a. Laster in his robot mode. Robot mode looks quite nice. I do dig his design. I think he looks really, really cool. Transformation is a little bit annoying in places, but uh, all in all, though, the, the, the robot mode design is pretty cool. Oops, I forgot to uh, rotate that wheel in. There we go. There we go. I remembered. I remembered. Okay. But there he is in his robot mode. So let's get in close. Not on his stomach. On oh, that noggin. There's that noggin. You can see uh, very nice light piping. His eyes glow a nice bright blue. You got that silver mouth plate right there on the crest. You got that transclearant red on his chest as well as the blue. You get some red there on the shoulders. Some nice silver paint across the stomach there. Some red. Get some silver paint there on the forearms. Get some silver and red there on his shins. Got some nice big old feet. If you don't like these toes, you can always just kind of leave them folded in. If you prefer that look, hey, totally up to you. As always, your toy, display it however you wish. And the back. He does have quite a backpack going on there, but that's all right. I don't mind backpacks. But let it go. Now, articulation-wise, uh, when you're using the Brain Master gimmick, his head is locked in place. There's no rotation. You can move the helmet up, but you're just going to move the helmet up. Um, but yeah, when you're using the Brain Master gimmick, his head is locked in place. There is no articulation whatsoever. There is something you can do about that, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, the arms can do a full 360 on a nice ratchet. Can go in and out. On a ratcheted joint as well, you do have rotation at the bicep. He does have a double jointed elbow, so you get nice full bend. You do have wrist rotation. You do have rotation at the waist, the legs. Can go forward that far, back that far, a nice clickety joint outward. You can do the full splits. You got rotation at the thigh. You do have 90 degrees of bend at the knee. Again, nice ratchet joints going on there. And the feet are on a ball joint. You also have those extra hinges in there that you can use. So you can pretty much pose him how you want. He also has a toe joint there and also the heel is on a ball joint. So you can use that to help stabilize him in any pose you want to put him in. So all in all, he is pretty poseable. So there you go. Uh, of course, you can have him holding his weapons. You can give him the big old sword here. You can wield that if you wish. You can give him one of the guns here. Or if you want, you can have him holding two guns. Totally up to you. You can arm him up like that. Now let's go back to talking about his head. Now again, when you're using the Brain Master gimmick, his head is totally locked in place, but there is something you can do about that. If you don't like the Brain Master gimmick, if you just despise it with a passion, you don't have to use it because they also include another complete head sculpt here. So you can totally swap that out if you want to. So you can just raise this up. It helps if you just open up this panel and just pop him out pop him out and the head's just on a ball joint you just pop that off take the new head and you just pop that back on and just bring that back and there you go and now he actually has neck articulation granted it's kind of weird at neck articulation because the, the the ball joint is like on the back of his head so in certain poses it looks a little like what where's his neck but still at least now it gives him some uh, some head articulation to help you pose him a bit better. It still has that nice light piping as well. So you have the option if you don't want to use the Brain Master gimmick. Totally up to you, but it's nice that they give you that option. And that's probably what I'm going to do with this guy is just leave this head on him because I like it a lot better than the Brain Master gimmick because it... It kind of works, but sometimes it, it doesn't work all that well. Like I said, when, when I did this on camera, it's actually the easiest time I've had doing that gimmick. So, hey, it's just kind of a hit or miss thing. But um, there you go. So now for comparison, here he is with Masterpiece Sideswipe. Just so you can see how he scales there. And again, he's basically Masterpiece Scale. So there you have that. 
Uh, here he is with the Saber to the Stars, or the Star to the Sabers. There he is with the Masterpiece Star Saber. <laughs> At least one component of Star Saber, anyway. And here he is with one of TFC's Leo Kaiser dudes. Just so you can see how they look together, and they scale well together. So, there you have that. So there you have TFC Toys Raging Bull, a.k.a. Laster, part of their Trinity Force! That's going to get old. For you! Not, not for me. Not for me at all. But anyway. Yeah, um, he's a decent figure. Um, the, the leg transformation is really the one thing that, that just annoys me the most. And once you know what you're doing... It's fine to, to get everything where it needs to go, but uh, yeah, that first time you transform this guy, um, you want to rip your face off because <laughs> the instructions really aren't that helpful. It's just like, turn 180, turn 180, turn 180, and then literally the next picture is just like the finished, the, you know, the, the, the end result. And I'm just like, but wait a second, I'm confused because you seem to have skipped steps. So the leg transformation I did pretty much have to figure out on my own, uh, but you know, once you know what you're doing, it's fine, but it's still a bit annoying. I think they could have made that maybe a little bit simpler, but it is what it is. Um, you know, the, the, the Brain Master gimmick, um, it kind of works. Sometimes it works, sometimes it's a total pain in the butt, you know, I appreciate them working the gimmick into the toy, but it's just, it's kind of hit or miss with whether or not it actually works. So, eh. I don't know. It is what it is. Overall, though, um, I do like the design of the figure. I think the figure overall is really cool looking. He looks great in his vehicle mode. He looks great in his robot mode. So I have no complaints there. Just the transformation and the gimmick, you know, needed, I think, a little bit of tweaking and some improvement. But there you go. So if you would like this or any of TFC Toys' other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below. So check that out. You can also check out the Trinity Force playlist for this and all future reviews, linked in the description down below as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the TFC Toys Raging Bull, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face. Laster! Laster! Hey! What's shaking other than this fortress? Uh, no, I, I didn't say blaster, I said laster. L -l -l laster. Laster. Oh! My bad. <laughs> oh, man. You know, on second thought, I do need him. Uh, blaster! Blaster! Yes, sir! Oh, it's... It's one of those jokes. Ha. Huh.